Welcome to Outdoors with the Common Man. Let's go have some fun. Thank you. What's going on guys? Coyote here. Well today's episode <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make some oars for the boat that you'll see or you have seen in videos. I'll tell you it's been harder than hell for me to find oars without paying shit for a 70 year old pair of them at a flea market they still want 70 bucks to $65 a piece so I'm gonna make us some old made ones went out and bought some uh, two by sixes that are pressure treated just so they'll help a little bit against the rot and wear and tear on them these ones are pretty dry got them from the local big old hardware store today so should be good so, so far all we're gonna need is tape measure Marker, pencil, pen, whatever. I'm not worried about the ink soaking in. I got my draw blade here for when it comes down to the end of the project. Um, I'm going to be doing most of this with the, uh, the good old circular saw or skill saw. Um, we're going to make 20 inch paddles on the end of the oar. And it's going to be about, I'm going to start with probably around a 2 inch shaft on the paddle all the way up these are two by six by eight boards they're roughly about eight bucks a piece so i also went ahead and bought some uh good old orla or locks these cost me at 12 bucks at the local i don't know what you want to call it sporting goods store make a shaft get it rounded out throw these guys on them pretty much settled at the end i'll have to take the board since it's going to be the total thickness and I'll have to taper it on both sides down to probably, you know, a decent little bit so that they just don't sit there and float in the water and it won't also make it so that it's extremely heavy when I go to oar. So we're going to go ahead and start our process up. So, put on the old glasses. right up from the very end so that's 20 so I actually think I'm gonna make these right around 20 and a half okay so there's that mark so now we need to figure out how wide these boards actually are so they're only about five and a half a little over So, I think I'll come in an inch and three quarters on each side. And that gives me just about two and a quarter inches on the whole shaft which I'll be able to with my um, scrape blade or whatever you want to call it draw knife I'll be able to hone that down while taking off the edges and stuff like that plus with the sander so we'll just go ahead and do that up the whole line on each side And then I'll just use this board as my straight edge for it. And I'll do that all the way up this side. And I'll do that all the way up the other side as well. Went ahead and marked out where the two inches are supposed to be. That works out to like two and a half inches, which I'm fine with on both sides, all the way up of both pieces. See the little orange dots. And then right here is going to be my 21 inches from my paddle. So I'll draw a line across there 
And then when that line meets up with that one, that's where I'll do my angles. Out to the outside. The paddle is going to be the whole width of the board. All right, guys. Like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and take one of the boards, put it on there, and use that as my straight edge and welcome down both sets. But first, I'm going to go ahead and take my speed square. I'm going to just draw the straight line right across where my 21 inches is. So there's that. Nothing crazy fancy. All I'm going to do is take this board. Try to make it so you guys can see. Get it nice and even. It's the same exact thing, so it should be able to get real good and even. Take the marker. Move it. And do the net. Same exact way. Nice and marked out. Nice straight lines. All the way down through. I'll do the same thing to this one. And then I'll go ahead. Move my speed square. Like this. I'll go ahead and make my angles. Alright, as you guys can see, I drew the lines on the first board. Drew the lines in the second board. Now... To make my angles like this, I took your common everyday speed square and I went from the corner there to the 45 hits the edge of my wood. And I make sure that corner is lined up. 45, corner. Then you just flip it and do the same. 45, corner and that's how I ended up with these lines here this whole thing right here will become my paddle same here this whole thing will become paddle and all this right here and right here will all become scrap I'll figure something out to do with it but this is how you can common every day make a set of oars for 20 maybe 30 bucks and personalize them when I get done the center parts right here I'll probably get my Dremel tool out and put some cool little details on them like some tree limbs or something kind of design and go ahead and paint them in so I'll be using these during duck season as well so I can take the boat out on the water and blast some stuff away all right guys so i have all the lines drawn out got myself a little makeshift seesaw here saw horses so i'm gonna go ahead and cut as far down as i can here and as far down as i can on this side and then i'll pull it up switch stuff around and continue my cuts guys so as you can see the crude shape is taking place those will be the handle ends the shaft and then we got the paddle ends down here I'll go ahead and take my draw knife and take these edges off on both sides try to round it out the best I can all the way up through 
come down and take my drawing knife and try to bevel out on both sides and go from there all right guys here's my drawing knife went down to the local um, flea market I don't know a couple of years back and bought one so that I could actually make myself a nice walking stick so I'll take this and pull it on these edges and it'll strip that edge down and then actually when I go to do my handles I'll start like this at straight and then I'll almost curve it and pull and it'll div it in to make my handle but I won't be able to do that until after I dry fit it to see where I want my handles at. So that it's perfect for me when I'm out on the water. So, okay, disclaimer. Don't smoke, it's bad for your health. Do not follow by example, follow by your own. I'm a smoker, I'm trying to quit. All right, boys and girls. Well, there's the start of the oars. Got the handles knocked in most of the way. Got the paddle knocked in. Got them rounded out. As you can see. Right there where I put that, those two lines is where it lines up with that oar lock. So what I did is took my hand saw and came down and through same on the bottom or the top whatever side that ends up being I made notches I'm gonna take my hammer and a chisel and knock these out this is where my oar lock will go so as you can see I went ahead and marked my angle out on my paddle all the way through it easy enough to get it started in Made my mark where I thought I should and took it down to a 45 degree angle like I showed you before, you know, put it on the end, bring it up to a 45, line it. Now to, I'll chisel this off and sand it. Yeah, the commoner floats. Guys, thanks for liking. <laughs> Let's try that again. Three, two. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that to hit that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button down below, the subscribe button. Catch us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget. Outdoors with the Common Man, real videos for real people. Catch you next time.